Hi, I'm Heidi from Happiness is Homemade, and today we're going to dive into the colorful world of sublimation printing and talk about a few of my favorite sublimation blanks. Now, if you're not familiar with sublimation printing, it is a super cool process. This unique printing technique involves turning solid sublimation ink prints into a gas using heat and pressure. This gas is then gonna penetrate the fibers of a polyester substrate, and that could be a polyester shirt or a polyester coating on a ceramic mug or a keychain, and it's gonna permanently bond with that substrate, ensuring that the print is never gonna fade, crack, or peel over time. It actually becomes a part of the material. It's really incredible. So when making sublimation t-shirts, the gold standard is to use shirts that are made from 100% polyester, because the sublimation ink is only gonna bond to those polyester fibers. So that's gonna give you the brightest and most vivid colors possible. But some people really don't love the feeling of 100% polyester against their skin, or maybe it's not easy to find 100% polyester shirts in your area. So one of the top questions we receive from our audiences all the time is, can I use shirts that are not 100% polyester? And if so, which shirts are best to use? So to answer that first question, yes, 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 you can definitely use shirts that are less than 100% polyester. And today I'm gonna to show you a few of my favorite options. So if you're looking for some amazing alternatives, you're in the right place. All of these shirts came from Heat Transfer Warehouse, and this here is just a small selection of their offerings. So be sure to check out their website for even more ideas. I'll add direct links to each specific shirt in the comments below, so you can hop on over there to get all the details. The shirts that I'm gonna be using today range from 50% polyester to 95% polyester. So I'm gonna run a few side-by-side -side comparisons so that you can see how those different poly counts will give us some different results. Now, I didn't wanna use the same images and designs for all of my shirts here, but I did stick to the same color palette so that it will be easier for us to compare color intensity and saturation between all of the different shirts. All right, you ready? Let's get started. The first shirt on my list is a Sport Tech Ladies Ultimate Performance V-neck, and it's made from 95% polyester and 5% spandex jersey. At 95% polyester, this is the closest shirt on my list to a full 100% polyester count, and that means that the sublimation ink is gonna infuse with 95% of the fibers for a bright, saturated image transfer. But before we transfer the design, we need to prep the shirt and our work surface. Press the shirt for 15 seconds to remove any residual moisture that might cause your ink to transfer improperly. Insert a piece of paper inside of the shirt to prevent any of that ink from seeping through to the backside, and then use a lint roller to remove any lint and debris. I like to tear around the edges of my sublimation designs before transferring them, and that will help you avoid any of those harsh pressing lines or those hard corner marks that you'll sometimes get on your garments after heat pressing. Position your design onto the shirt using a t-shirt ruler to help guide the placement. Use several pieces of heat safe tape to keep your design from shifting around during pressing. Making sure that everything is securely taped in place will help you eliminate any ghosting or fuzzy edges on your design. Cover everything with a piece of butcher paper. This again is gonna help absorb any excess ink and protect our heat surface. Now, press the shirt with medium pressure. Your time and temperature may vary, but I find that 385 degrees for 45 seconds works well for me. Allow everything to cool and then peel to reveal your design. The high polyester content of this Sport Tech t-shirt guarantees that everything is gonna come out really dark, bold, and highly saturated. The spandex in the tee gives it just a touch of stretch, so it's perfect for people who want a high performance shirt that's also stylish and flattering. It's available in white, and it's also available in several other light colors that'll work great with sublimation. It also comes in a unisex version that has a little bit more relaxed fit, and that comes in both a long and short sleeve variety. This next shirt looks a little different, but it produces some really cool results. This is a Bella Canvas unisex poly cotton tee in marble white, and it's made up of 91% polyester and 9% heirloom combed cotton, making it super soft and comfortable. The higher polyester content will result in vibrant, long-lasting prints, and the marbled coloring lends some really cool effects to the finished print. Remember, sublimation ink is transparent, so it's gonna pick up and show the color of the shirt or other substrate underneath it. Super cool, right? It has sort of a vintage vibe to it, but the print is still super bright and crisp. 
The White Marble Bella Canvas Poly Cotton Tee is one of my favorites because not only do the prints look super cool, it's also one of the most amazing feeling shirts ever. The heirloom comb cotton adds a touch of luxury to the feel, and even though it has a high polyester content, it really feels more like a t-shirt and less like an athletic shirt. So with its vibrant colors and a bit of a vintage effect from the marbling, this shirt is a really great choice for those who value bright print quality along with style and comfort. If you're looking for a classic t-shirt, you're gonna love the Port & Company Performance Tee. This shirt is made from a 6535 poly cotton blend, making it a solid choice for both print quality and comfort. At only 65% polyester, you will notice that the print does start to lose just a little bit of that color saturation and vibrancy, but overall, the look is still quite bright and clean. This is definitely my top choice for shirts in this polyester range. The colors on this shirt look fantastic despite it not being 100% polyester. And the 65% poly content is still high enough to ensure that your prints are gonna remain colorful and long lasting. Plus the higher cotton content in this shirt gives it a really soft and breathable feel. So it has the most traditional cotton t-shirt like feeling out of everything on our list today. The Port & Company Performance Tee is available in a variety of colors and it comes in unisex, women's and children's styles. So it's an excellent all around option. If activewear is your jam, you're gonna love this Sport Tech Ladies Tri-Blend Raglan Tee. This shirt features a 75-13-12 blend of polyester, cotton, and rayon jersey, which offer excellent moisture wicking properties that make it perfect for activewear. Now it is available in white, but I just wanted to show off how well some of these lighter colored shirts take the sublimation ink as well. This here is the light gray heather color, and as you can see, the print still really pops. So don't forget about all of these other great light colored shirt options when you're making your next sublimation shirt. With its stylish scoop neck and raglan sleeves, paired with its impressive print result, the Sport Tech Tri-Blend Raglan Tee is a great choice for those who want a functional and fashionable piece of activewear. Next up, we have the District Women's Perfect Tri Rocker Tank, which I totally love. The high neckline is super stylish and it creates a perfect canvas for sublimation prints. This tank top boasts a 50-25-25 blend of polyester, comb cotton, and rayon, and the mix of fabric creates a soft, lightweight feel, while the lower polyester count gives its prints a more vintage appearance. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the faded vintage look, so I cannot get enough of this tank top style. I do want to note, however, that these tri-blend fabrics are a little bit more heat sensitive, so you will want to lower the heat a bit and do some testing with your settings to avoid any scorching. There are so many things that I love about the rocker tank. The unique neckline and the curved hemline are super stylish and it looks flattering on lots of different body types. So this is definitely a fantastic option for people who want a trendy, comfortable tank top style with a vintage style print finish. Speaking of the District brand, they also have a super awesome, super soft raglan tee that also makes my favorites list. Like the Rocker Tank, the Perfect Try three-quarter sleeve raglan is a 50-25-25 mix of polyester, combed cotton, and rayon, so you're going to want to use less heat on that more delicate fabric blend again. The lower heat plus the lower polyester count is going to result in your transfers having more of that faded retro look to them, which I think is kind of a perfect look for a raglan tee, don't you think? One of my favorite things about the District Perfect Try raglan tee is its color-blocked sleeves. Available in lots of different sleeve and body color combinations, they add visual interest that creates a perfect canvas for your designs to really pop and stand out. Now this one's available in both a semi-fitted women's design and an athletic-inspired unisex version, so this raglan is an excellent addition to your sublimation shirt options. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Bella Canvas Ladies Tri Blend T-shirt. This shirt is super popular, and for good reason. The 50-25-25 blend of polyester, heirloom cotton, and rayon feels seriously dreamy against your skin. The tri-blend fabric provides an ultra soft and comfortable feel, and the lower polyester count lends itself to that vintage style print finish that adds a touch of character to your designs. It's perfect for creating those faux retro looks and vintage flashback tees. Plus, it comes in tons of color options, so you're sure to find something perfect for you. This Bella Canvas Tri-Blend Slim Fit Tee is one of my main go-to shirts for both sublimation and when I'm using heat transfer vinyl. 
It's a really versatile option for people who want a great all-around shirt that's good for sublimation and other applications. And it's also available in a unisex version with a more relaxed silhouette that's equally as great and just as popular. These two shirts are my top choices for creating vintage-inspired t-shirt designs, and they're always a fan favorite too. So there you have it, my top eight shirts to use for sublimation printing that are not 100% polyester. Did you even know that there were so many great options out there? Each of these shirts here has been linked in the comments below, so if you need more information, it's easily accessible. A huge thank you again to Heat Transfer Warehouse for providing me with all of the shirts that I used in today's video, so be sure to hop on over to their site and check out all of their awesome shirts and their other sublimation blanks too. You can find all the sublimation designs that we used here today over in our shop at Happiness is Homemade, along with the t-shirt ruler guide that I used as well. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Happiness is Homemade for more crafting tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a favorite sublimation shirt that didn't make it onto my list today, feel free to let me know about them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today, and I can't wait to see what you make next.